Hi guys, Artie here and I have some good news regarding the state of Cartoon Network and the current lineup. Fortunately, they have made drastic improvements ever since I made the previous video criticizing the channel two weeks ago. They reverted most of the poor schedule changes that occurred due to the switch over to Discovery's playout system. The Looney Tunes show is back to airing reruns in the morning. Also, Clarence has plentiful reruns in the afternoon and on Sunday, another great show. The second big change is that older shows are now being displayed in their proper 4x3 aspect ratio on Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, and Boomerang. I'll give credit where it's due and give props to Warner Brothers Discovery for listening to the viewers. Maybe they saw my video and decided to take action. Another key detail is that this week's schedule is fantastic. Not as good as last week where we also had a super chunk of regular show reruns and even Uncle Grandpa and Wee Bear Bear is thrown into the mix. Still leagues better than the horrible and repetitive schedules we had to put up with from 2016 to 2021 when the channel lacked any variety whatsoever. The highlight of the week has to be the Over the Garden Wall Marathon on Friday afternoon, an outstanding miniseries and I'm glad they're airing it again this year as the tradition goes. Oh, they are airing reruns of What's New Scooby-Doo right before Checkered Past. It's pretty good and I honestly didn't expect it to return for the Scoobatober block. Let's see, we got regular shows still airing some specials this week, that's awesome. Oh come on, they are still airing Total Drama Rama. I thought it ended last year and they were done with the show, I really hate it. Besides that, my only complaint is the amount of gumball airing. It's an excellent series, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't need to air 107 times. For perspective, that is 34% of the schedule. Maybe slash it in half and make some room for other shows like Adventure Time, OKKO, OK Victor and Valentino, Chowder, or Uncle Grandpa. Either way, I would take an overflow of gumball reruns any day over non-stop Teen Titans Go like how it was in the dark ages of 2017 Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network has aired a couple new shows recently. There's Tiny Toons Luniversity. I haven't seen a single episode yet, but from the looks of the animation, it's pleasant. I've seen the trailer and a few clips online, and I think I will like it. It has a raccoon character in it, so I definitely need to give it a watch during my free time. I'm also glad they are giving it ample time slots on the weekends. And the Craig of the Creek spinoff, Jessica's Big Little World, finally premiered not too long ago. I haven't seen it either, but I saw some screen caps on Twitter, and it looks halfway decent. I'm probably not gonna go out of my way to see it, though. I recommend that they start pushing out more new content, as a channel cannot sustain on only 5 ongoing shows and in which one of them is ending soon. I will discuss this more in my next video. I decided to split this into two parts since I have so much to say about this. Also, it has been confirmed that Adult Swim does not want to expand Checker Pass and that was a shocker for me. It is a success and exponentially increased viewership during those hours, so why not capitalize on it? The reason given is that they just want to stick to these four shows they already have, and people in the comments pointed out that it is difficult to get these shows to air on Adult Swim for some reason. I'm speculating here, and the most likely shows to air on Checker Past next, if they do, are Cow and Chicken, Johnny Bravo, and Samurai Jack. That's because Cow and Chicken is confirmed to be airing on Adult Swim Latin America during the Checker Past block, Johnny Bravo is more on the controversial side, and Samurai Jack continued its run on Adult Swim before. Adult Swim also said despite them sticking to these four shows, for now, it's not out of the question that they will add other shows at a later date. Just don't give your hopes up. They've gone a long way since the terrible Dimensional Era Dark Age from 2016 through 2021. The schedule now has a decent mix of variety, Teen Titans Go is no longer spammed on the channel, and we are getting a few new shows rather than none at all. The pastel era may not be perfect, but it's a start, and there's still hope for Cartoon Network. The current management seems to know what they are doing and are listening to the feedback. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, notify, and check out other videos on the channel. You may like them. Do you think Cartoon Network is gradually getting back in the spotlight, or are they just relapsing and soon will spiral back to the desolate way they were? Let me know in the comments! Stick around for my next video where I discuss the future of Cartoon Network and what they have to offer in terms of upcoming shows.